हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द डिजिटल क्लासेस ऑफ क्राइस्ट चर्च कॉन्वेंट गाडावारा आई एम दीपक कौरव यूर इंग्लिश टीचर सो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास सिक्स टेक आउट यूर ग्रामर बुक पी सी रेंस ग्रामर एंड देन ओपन चैप्टर नंबर सेवन ऑग्जिलरी एंड मॉडल वर्ब्स आई हैड ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड सेवरल वीडियोज ऑन वर्ब्स एंड ऑल्सो मॉडल वर्ब्स first you watch those videos then it would be helpful to understand this chapter and to do the exercises so let us discuss auxiliary verbs auxiliary auxiliary verbs are used uh, before a main verb okay for example is am are has have had do did does okay so these are auxiliary verbs and model auxiliary verbs are can could may might will would shall should must ought to so let us discuss about model auxiliary verbs मॉडल वर्ब्स कैन ओके लेट एस सी हाउ कैन इज यूज बेसिकली कैन इज यूज टू एक्सप्रेस एबिलिटी और टू एक्सप्रेस परमिशन और टू एक्सप्रेस अ रिक्वेस्ट और टू एक्सप्रेस एन ऑफर ओके लेट सी एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एबिलिटी ही कैन स्पीक फाइव लैंग्वेजेस ओके so here it is showing an ability of a person who can speak five languages okay so here can is used to express an ability now second permission so let us see how can is used as a permission can i use your phone here we are seeking permission uh, from someone to use his or her phone you can go now here we are giving a permission to go okay now then request how can is used as a request can i have a glass of water please here we are requesting someone to have a glass of water can you get me a ticket here also we are uh, requesting someone to get a ticket for us then offer how can is used to offer something can i help you here we are offering someone a help that's why here can is used to offer something okay so these are the different uses of a single model auxiliary verb can okay now then could could is basically used a uh, past possibility to express past possibility or to express request for example past uh, past ability i could swim when i was 7 so here what does it mean it mean when i was 7 when i was 7 year old i could swim okay so here someone is talking about his past okay when he was 7 he could swim okay now then request could you get me a ticket so it's a polite request uh from uh, someone that could you get me a ticket then may may is basically used to express permission or possibility permission you may use my computer so here someone is giving a uh, permission to use his or her computer okay 
मे आई कम इन सो हियर इट्स अ पोलाइट रिक्वेस्ट नाउ देन पॉसिबिलिटी हाउ मे इज यूज एज पॉसिबिलिटी लेट सी ही मे कम टूडे सो देयर मे बी अ चांस ऑफ हिम टू कम टूडे ओके ही मे कम टूडे नेक्स्ट माइट माइट इज अ पास फॉर्म ऑफ मे विच इज यूज एज अ परमिशन एंड पॉसिबिलिटी इन टू डिफरेंट सेंटेंसेज लेट सी परमिशन यू माइट गो नाउ हियर वी आर गोइंग वी आर गिविंग परमिशन यू माइट गो नाउ यू माइट लीव ओके नाउ देन पॉसिबिलिटी हाउ माइट इज यूज एज पॉसिबिलिटी he might come today okay so there is a less assurity of happening of that incident that uh, at that place we use might he might come today okay there is a less possibility of arrival of someone now then will will is basically used to express future action request or an offer for example perhaps it will rain tonight okay so it's a future action general action then request will you give me a lift here we are requesting someone to give a lift then offer will you have some tea here we are offering tea to someone okay would would is a past form of will it is basically used to express request or offer request would you lend me your camera so it's a general request then offer would you like a cup of coffee it is a offer that we are offering coffee to someone then sell sell is basically used to express future action offer or suggestion future action i shall see him tomorrow and then offer sell i carry the bag for you suggestion sell we go to the beach it's a suggestion now then should should is used to express necessity you should apply for the job okay here applying for job is a necessity necessary for the person whom the speaker <coughs> is saying these words then must must is basically used as necessity or certainty first one i must get up at 5 tomorrow okay so here this sentence is expressing a feeling of necessity i must get up at 5 tomorrow then certainty she must be at home now okay then ought ought is also used as necessity you ought to obey your parents okay so let us see exercise match the sentences on the left with the uses of model on the right okay here what we have to do we have to match the sentences which are given in left with the feeling which is given in right i must make a phone call i must make a phone call it is necessity okay it is necessity to make a phone call right now okay that's why you have to fill one in necessity then she has walked a long way she must be tired she must be tired so it's a expression of a certainty 
so you have to fill uh, second in certainty then third will you close the window please will you please will you close the window please so it's a polite request okay then fourth we will be away next weekend we will be away next weekend so it's a future action we will leave next weekend it's a future action okay then fifth one she can speak french fluently she can speak french fluently okay so it's a ability that she can speak french fluently then sixth one shall i get a taxi for you shall i get a taxi for you it's an offer we are offering a taxi for someone okay then shall we go for a swim shall we go for a swim it's a suggestion eighth one can i go out can i go out it's a permission we are seeking permission from someone ninth she may arrive tomorrow so it's an it's a possibility she may arrive may may is used for possibility we study so it's a possibility then tenth you ought to help him necessity okay so this is the end of your chapter auxiliaries and model verbs thank you